Hey there. Uh, so today we're going to talk about Google Street View uh, and the great way that the Ricoh Theta uh, works with that. So if you turn around and look on the other side, you'll see my phone and uh, over here you'll be able to see this is the the main Google Street View explore area there's collections and you can look at other people's posted things uh, but then in your area there's a sorry there's a bug right there uh, and you can go to private and you can see your uh, photospheres that are ready to be uploaded and you can also if you've already uploaded some click on them and sh they'll show you where they are like there's three right here so if we come over here you can see if you look right here that I have 10 photos uploaded to Google Street View and I've had uh, 5.7 thousand views on those and these are what some of them are these are some that I took at the Grand Canyon um, these are at Meteor Crater that's the front of my house and basically you know these you can just view them just like you would any other photosphere that you've taken but it's also attached to what you um, the location so when somebody goes and looks on Google Street View they drop the little Street View guy down if they drop it on a specific point that could be one of the photospheres I've uploaded, one of the photospheres that a bunch of other people have uploaded, but you can share your f specific photospheres with other people. It's really cool to do that, and together we can, you know, explore this planet that God's placed us on. And it's really, really cool. So, you may be asking, well, that is cool. I've got a Rico Theta, how can I do that? So first thing you want to do is make sure that you have a Google account. You will download and install the Google Street View app. You'll put your Google information in Street View and then you can start uploading from there. There's this great little plus right here um, and then you can select the 360 video um, stills that you have downloaded. Actually it's going to show all of the v stills that you've got but you can go through and find the ones that are specifically ones that you've done with your Rico, like say that one right there. I can tell it to import. Once it finishes importing, I can tap on it. And once it finishes setting it up there, you can see that. And um, from there, what you can do, click that and you can publish it to Google Maps. Now you do have to have um, location information for that so you tell it what location it is and then as long as you're on Wi-Fi you can go ahead and upload it to uh, Google Street View. Then other people can start looking at the images that you have uploaded.